In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can define many properties on an object at one time. So let's say I've got this object here. We'll just make it an empty object literal. I can use the object.define property function to actually define a new property on this object. So the first parameter is the object that I want to add the property to. Then I'm going to add a new property called color. And then in here, I actually specify what my descriptor is going to be. So in this case, I want to make this property writable. And I want to set the value of it to blue. So I can do this. And then I can come down here and I can actually say console.log object.color. And this will output to the web browser the value of the property, which is in fact blue. So if I come here and I reload this, you'll see that it outputs blue. But let's say I wanted to define many properties on an object. Instead of just calling define property multiple times, I just want to pass in an object that has multiple properties defined. I can do object.define properties. And then pass into it as the first parameter, the actual object I want to add the properties to. But then the second parameter is going to be an object map. And so if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to add size, I can come in here and specify size, and then I can specify the various uh, properties I want to set on it. So I'm going to say writable, and we'll set that to true. We'll say value, we'll make that large. And then I can come in here and I can say, let's we'll specify quantity, and we will make that writable, set that to true. Actually, I'll remove the E there. We'll say value is equal to 3. So now I can actually take my console.log and I'll say size And then quantity. And I can reload this in my web browser. And we'll see that it outputs large and then the number three, as we would expect. The final way in which I can add um, an object map of properties is when I actually create a new object. So let's say I want to create an object called widget. And I want to say object.create. And then I'm going to pass into it just kind of an empty object literal right here uh, will be its prototype. And then I can specify an object map of properties in here. So we'll simply copy this and then paste that in there. And what this is going to create is this is going to create a widget object for me that has these properties defined on it. So I can say widget.size, just wrap that in a console.log. and then do the same thing for quantity. And we'll say console.log widget props. And then we can come back to our web browser and we can reload our web page. We can now see that we have large and three have been defined on our object. So we have the option of not only being able to, to define properties one at a time, but, but also we can define multiple properties by using the define properties method, or when we create a new object, we can pass in a second parameter to object.create. That is basically an object map of the properties we want to add.